they know who they are. Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football, breaking down the game we love each and every day. Discussion, debate, and analysis right here. Please subscribe, turn on the bell for the notifications, therefore you know when we're going live. We're talking Iowa football, so please leave your record projection and your thoughts on the Hawkeyes down below. Northern Iowa is the opener for the Hawkeyes here in 2020. Of course, uh, Iowa coming off a 10-3 campaign with a bowl win against USC. And if you really look at the results of the Iowa football team in 2019, Nathan Stanley's final year at Iowa at quarterback, the Hawkeyes were mighty, mighty razor thin close to winning a division championship and going to the Big Ten title game in Indianapolis. But a close loss to Wisconsin did them in. Uh, but every game, the three that they lost were all by one score. Iowa State's an interesting game. I always make this comment every offseason in highlighting the schedules for both Iowa and Iowa State. They have the most boring schedules in the country, especially Iowa State because we know what the Big 12 conference schedule is for them because they play everyone. For Iowa, at least there's the uncertainty, or at least you need to look up who they're going to play out of the East. But in terms of a non-conference schedule, they play the two most boring schedules because they play themselves, and they don't schedule anyone else. So let's get with the program, Iowa. There are teams across the country now scheduling, get this, two, two quality opponents, whether that be two power fives or a power five and a quality, quality group of five. That's what other teams are doing across the nation. Look at, uh, there are a number of examples out there, but for Iowa football, it's always Iowa State and nobody else. And Iowa State has traditionally been awful. Now, of course, under Matt Campbell, they're competitive. They're good. They're coming off seven wins last year, eight the two years prior. So it's a date against Iowa State. That's a toss-up game. So you notice if you've not seen the other schedule previews, the W's, the L's, and the T's, just about guaranteed wins, just about guaranteed losses, which for the Hawkeyes, I don't see any guaranteed losses, not even at Ohio State. And not that it's a toss-up, so I've got T for toss-up, but that's not in the classic sense of a 50-50 toss-up, uh, but basically a game in question. Even against Ohio State, I give Iowa a reasonable chance of winning, meaning 20% shot. Okay, again, back to the non-conference. It's Northern Iowa, Iowa State, and a little bit later, Northern Illinois. This is a typical Hawkeyes non-conference schedule. Uh, they haven't left the state in forever. Uh, they're not as bad as Florida, but they haven't left the state in forever. Okay, the Big Ten schedule starts on a Friday night. I love this matchup on a Friday night. Uh, because typically this game would get lost among other big national games, and so I may not necessarily be able to watch it uh, really play for play for play for play. But on a Friday night, Iowa at Minnesota, that is one of the better Friday night matchups you're going to see in a key game in the Big Ten Western Division. Then once the Hawkeyes dive back into Big Ten play, they've got what looks like a difficult three-game stretch with Michigan State starting it out. But Sparty, not what they used to be. So that's Michigan State at home. They should win that game. And then a uh, two-game stretch, which is as difficult as you can possibly get in the Big Ten on the road for Ohio State and Penn State. Uh, Iowa has played very difficult games against Penn State the last two years, losing in Happy Valley and at home. And uh, actually, it's been, uh, yeah, two very difficult games the last two years against Penn State in losing at the wire. And they travel back to Happy Valley. Northwestern's a game that Iowa should win at home. They've got Illinois on the road. Uh, that is a, a game that they should win. They have to win if they're going to compete for the division championship. Of course, the matchups with Wisconsin in particular, that one's huge in the Minnesota game. So that bookends the Big Ten schedule at Minnesota, and then ending up uh, with a date at home against Wisconsin, which has been, of course, the best program in the Big Ten Western Division, and that could well decide it. So, for the first time since Nebraska joined the Big Ten, the Big Ten had been pushing a Nebraska-Iowa rivalry, and the game had always been played on the Friday after Thanksgiving. 
The Big Ten has changed course. They've done this also in the Eastern Division involving Penn State, Michigan State, Maryland, and Rutgers. They're changing things up also concerning Wisconsin and Iowa being the final game of the season and not Iowa and Nebraska. Therefore, the traditional uh, matchup for Paul Bunyan's axe, Wisconsin-Minnesota, not on the final weekend of the season, as is tradition. Wisconsin taking on Iowa, and I believe the Minnesota game, I forget who they play in the final weekend, must be Nebraska. We'll have to check that out. Those schedules are coming up very soon. But again, this is Iowa uh, coming off a 9-3 and regular season last year and pretty much in line for a similar performance at 6-3 and in the Big Ten, losing most likely the back-to-back -back affairs in Columbus and Happy Valley and losing somewhere else along the line, whether that be against Minnesota and Wisconsin, probably splitting those two games. They do have Nebraska at home. I do expect the Huskers to be better this year than five wins uh, from 2019. So it's a pretty tough draw for Iowa out of the Big Ten Eastern Division with Ohio State, Penn State, and Michigan State. At least as a projection right now. Bear with me, Hawkeye fans. I have Iowa losing against Iowa State to finish 8-4 and four overall, 6-3. and three. I know that it's a home game, and Iowa's beaten Iowa State uh, the last two years, both home and road, uh, in very, very close games, especially last year's game. Uh, the game uh, three years ago, 44-41 in overtime. So they have played a great series in recent years against what had been their little brother, against uh, the Cyclones. So that's where we've got Iowa football competing for a Big Ten Western Division. It's 6-3 and three in the conference. Probably not going to get it done, though. Your record projection, your thoughts on Iowa football uh, down below. And, of course, like, comment, share the videos, and subscribe right here at Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football.